Welcome to Morning Devotions, and uh, it's always great uh, to have you here and to be studying God's Word and to uh, deepen your faith and your hope and your joy and your love and your wisdom. At least that's my hope for you as you uh, take this time during your day to open God's Word. And we're going to finish off the book of Ruth today. And like all of these short devotional Bible studies, it really only hits the highlights. would encourage you uh, to read it again and uh, go to other studies because it is a sweet, as I, I hope you have gotten that out of the study, a sweet, sweet little book. And as always, I start with a question question actually two questions first question is do you have a faithful friend and what makes that person faithful to you why do you define them that way and then secondly to think about and or talk about if you have someone there with you how can you be a faithful friend and maybe there are some uh, qualities of that faithful friend you have that you might want to emulate because you see the book of ruth was all about faithfulness. And we'll talk a little bit more about that, but let's uh, bring it to a conclusion and let me just kind of bridge from where we were. If you remember, Boaz said that he was going to talk to the closest kinsman redeemer and, uh, and Boaz does that and he uh, gets permission to both buy the field but also to marry Ruth. And so at the end, indeed, they do marry. And this is what is said. It's Ruth chapter 4, by the way, starting at the 13th verse. So Boaz took Ruth, and she became his wife. When he made love to her, the Lord enabled her to conceive, and she gave birth to a son. The woman, the woman said to Naomi, Praise be to the Lord who this day has not left you without a guardian redeemer. May he become famous throughout all of Israel. He will renew your life and sustain you in your old age. For your daughter-in-law, who loves you and who is better to you than seven sons, has given him birth. Then Naomi took the child in her arms and cared for him. The woman living there, said, Naomi has a son, and they named him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, the father of David. And yes, that is the David I'm talking about. The David, King David, that uh, rules Israel and makes Israel a nation, and from whom the Messiah comes. But I want to talk a little bit about this idea of faithfulness because this is so important for the book of Ruth. You know, Ruth was faithful and loyal to her mother-in-law, Naomi. And Boaz was faithful and loyal to Ruth. And very, both of them very much were redeemers to somebody else. Ruth to Naomi, Boaz, to Ruth, and Naomi. But it goes even farther. God was faithful to Boaz and Ruth with the birth of the child. And God was faithful to his people Israel because through that line, King David came. And God was faithful to the world because through King David's line comes the Messiah, Jesus. You know, I started this uh, study with saying that the book of Ruth at the beginning almost seems like an ending. And this book almost seems, at the end, seems like an ending. But it's not. Because God's still working. And God has a future planned for his creation. And God has a future planned for you. And he is working right now 
to bring all of that to completion. How can we participate in that future? Well, one of the ways is to be faithful. To be faithful, to be trusting of God. To be faithful, to be loyal to those in your family, in your friendship circles, at work, in your neighborhood. To be that type of person that people notice you and think you are beautiful, not for your outward looks, whether they're beautiful or not, but for your faithfulness and loyalty. I want to finish with a question. As you look to your future, where do you need to trust God? Where do you need to be faithful? Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for your faithfulness to us. Help us to be a faithful people. In your son's name, Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, the one who has been faithful to the very end so that there's a new beginning. Amen. Well, be hope-filled, stay strong, and God bless. <laughs>